So a couple of days ago, we reported that AMD is working on a mainstream 7 nanometer Navi GPU with the GTX 1080 class performance to debut in 2019 at somewhere around the $250 price mark. We also reported that the company is working on another project that is going to ha have a clear and immediate impact on the company's graphics cards and their competitiveness in the market. Today, we're finally taking the lid off of what this project is and what it's about. Officially, we're told that this project is unnamed. Hmm. However, in some circles, it's simply being referred to as Project Zen. A perfect name for it, as you'll soon find out due to its nature and the people involved in it. Now, to understand what this project is about, we'll have to rewind a bit and talk about what has actually led up to it. See, late last year, the Radeon Technologies Group saw the departure of its leader, Raja Kaduri. Kaduri was head of all things graphics at the company. Whether it was product roadmap, engineering and development, uh, go-to-market strategy, you name it, he was involved in it. Now, when he left, it, his departure left a rather large vacuum at RTG, one that CEO Dr. Lisa Su was quick to remedy by bringing not only one, but two graphics heavyweights. David Wang and Mike Rayfield to lead RTG's engineering efforts and day-to-day -day operations. These hires have also led to some more restructuring inside RTG and the departures and, well, hires and several other key players. One of the most significant changes that have occurred after Raj's departure is the assembly of a Zen team of engineers at the Radiant Technologies Group whose sole purpose is to drastically improve the performance of AMD's GPU design by working alongside the company's established engineering teams at RTG. Now we're being told that the new team was put together somewhere around October of last year as it was obvious that Roger was intent on leaving. It includes several key engineers who had leadership roles in bringing AMD Zen CPU to market. One of the leading figures of Radeon Project Zen is none other than Suzanne Plummer who is a key architect in the company's incredibly popular Ryzen CPUs. Now the team has been put into place to inject the company's upcoming GPU products with a dose of engineering steroids, so to speak, and well, basically leapfrog the company's original GPU roadmap. It's tasked with bringing its expertise from the original Zen CPU project to the GPU side, as well as to innovate on two key areas in effort to make upcoming GPU products more than competitive than what was originally planned. The two key areas that the team is focused on is significantly improving clock speeds of AMD GPU designs, as well as pushing them to be much more power efficient. Now we're told that the project was put into motion under the direct orders of CEO Dr. Lisa Su, who expects results as early as this year. Although the team has inv been involved with engineering efforts around the Navi architecture, which is expected in 2019, as well as the company's brand new post-GCN architecture that's expected to come along in 2020. We have been hearing a lot of chatter in private channels about how the company's post-GCN all new architecture is going to be Radeon's Zen, so to speak. But if what we've been hearing about Radeon Project Zen is also accurate, we might see some of the new team's results with the Radeon 600 series much earlier than 2020. So, what do you think about all of this? Do you think they can give the Zen treatment to the Radeon side of things? Because if you remember a few years ago, roles were much reversed where the GPU business was outpacing the CPU side and it seems things have kind of reciprocated here lately. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, what you think may come out of this. And well, as always, hope you enjoyed the video. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV and we'll catch you in the next video.